Oh yeah! Just a quick notification for you guys. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch for probably about two or three hours whenever I upload this video. Maybe even four, depending on how it goes. Now, I probably won't be streaming Nightmares only because it's kind of boring to watch this, obviously. Um, besides watching the big hits, I see big hit right here. Yeah, boom, boom, 91. Okay, never mind. Last hit right here. Boom. Okay, that's shit hits. Anyways, um, so I'll see you guys on the stream. Hope you guys enjoy this video and all kinds of goddamn progress gains in this bitch. Next video you guys see, you guys will be like, holy shit, how the fuck did you guys, how'd you do that so goddamn fast? But anyways, I'll see you guys on the stream. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Yes, after the Ah, uh, well guys, here it is. My first time ever, I'm going to do a dragon task, a metal dragon. Well, okay, I've done bronze metal dragons like once when the, the game like first kind of came out. Um, because I wanted to see me back and get dragon legs and make myself really rich. But this is my first time ever trying it because I have my DFS, obviously. I'm going to attempt to see what it's like. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be using my can or not because I might hit a steel dragon. And if I do hit a steel dragon, there goes an hour of my slayer task. Boom. I hope not forget. I know I need the anti-fires. I know I got this. I think I got everything I need. I have about 40-something dragons, I believe. Let me just double check. 46. I, I really wish they made these dragons a little more separate, like iron dragons in one area and then the steel in the other area, just so it's a little more simple for us to do this task and it's not as fucking annoying. I think that's honestly the only reason why I don't do this task is because it's uh, disgustingly fucking annoying. But anyways, um, I'm going to uh, see how much experience per hour this task is. I have my speed thing up right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset it and I'm gonna enable it now. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna test out the experience per hour at Iron Dragon's Lego. Now I'm not gonna lie, I've had thoughts about selling my DFS, but at the end of the day, it's definitely the best shield for uh, Gower's Legend. So that's all I'm gonna be doing. Even if this thing goes down to like 20 mil, which I, I kind of think it's not gonna go down. I think it's gonna go up honestly when Gower's Legend comes out. People are gonna make money from Gower's Legend, and then they're gonna right away try to get the best gear because in reality, it really matters how good your gear is in this time and obviously your stats because you don't last that long because there's no familiars. I believe this is where I put my can way back in the day, down in the very south area, but there's someone else here, so that might be, so I don't know. Oh yeah, 49 on the dragon. That feels bald. Alkin, did you talk to the guy so you can get a visage drop? I'm not sure if people understand yet, but I'm more than positive that is a big myth. You don't have to talk to anybody. Don't, please don't attack that steel dragon. Oh, please don't attack the steel dragon. Please don't touch it. Please don't. Thank God. Oh, 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 that's good. It's still iron. Okay, thank God. But yeah, guys, I don't think you have to talk to anyone to get a visage drop or to enable you to get a visage drop. It looks like the Slayer experience so far, it's 22k an hour. I've received 1k overall Slayer experience, which isn't too bad, I guess. As long as it's like around 15k an hour, I wouldn't mind doing it. There it goes. Good fight, 10 hours. Come on, fuck it up. Fuck it up. Yeah, 35. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. Boom! Nope. Why do you have to be here, you fucking piece of shit? I actually was getting 22k Slayer experience per hour out of 20. Two, or I guess out of 2.6k Slayer, which isn't too bad. I mean, that's really good, but um, yeah, that st Steel Dragon totally just fucked me over. Eat shit. Experience per hour so far in Slayer is 18k. I've received 5k Slayer experience so far. Now, I am going to hop because those fuckers were there. Cookie? You fucking serious? You fucking Steel Dragon? All right, so last dragon here. Since we did kill two steel dragons, it kind of slowed us down. But we averaged about 18k slay experience per hour, which to me is very surprising. I thought this was like 10k experience per hour. But don't forget, guys, dragon fire shield, piety, 9 attack and strength with the, like, you know, extremes and base, or supers, I mean. So, yeah. Total loose was two rune limbs uh, and the battle axe. And some, I didn't really pay for the prayer potions, but, um, yeah. In a way, I believe it actually is worth probably doing iron dragons, even if you get, like, more than 50 or some shit, I guess. Um, I think I got, what is it, 46 or something? I, I think I would have had enough prayer potions to last a few more anyways. Uh, fuck, wrong one. I mean, 18k an hour is pretty solid. It's not too much to bitch about. I believe the average is like 20 to like 23k experience per hour. So getting that isn't that bad. And then, um, because sometimes if you cancel, you get like four shit tasks in a row. That's like 10 minutes gone. And then your experience per hour drops anyway. So it's basically worth doing it, especially since there is a visage, dragon skirts, and dragon legs. And we got Necreal's gains. Maybe in the future I might test this out, but I'm already sure it's not going to work. Trying a DFS for every Slayer task versus a Rune Defender on tasks like Abyssal Demons, maybe, and like Necreals, um, possibly Gargoyles, just because you have to use Guthans quite often on those tasks, especially Necreals, I believe, sometimes. Um, so sometimes, you know, if you don't have to use your Guthans as often, you know, it'll save some experience, but Rune Defender versus DFS is a pretty big difference. I mean, DFS is very newbie. Um, obviously, pre-EOC days, DFS, the only person I ever used a DFS, I think, was Green098. I can't tell you guys how many people made fun of her for using a DFS for Slayer. Like, on, like, a Black Demon task or Black... Like, any task where you just really pray even, she would use a, uh, a stupid uh, DFS. When, obviously, Rune Defender is better if you're really praying. But, yeah, since we don't have Soul Split, obviously, you can't... Uh, so, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll test it out one day, but I'm already positive it's not going to be any better than uh, Rune Defender. 
Now, at am a test experience per hour on this test. Now, I'm going to say it's around 23k experience an hour for Slayer, but Lego gains. Well, just about done this test now. It looks like I averaged about 22, 23k slikes per hour. It just went down now to 22k an hour, so it's like 23 point something, I guess, per hour. Um, that's probably because this guy just came here. I think when you have two people here, it really does affect the experience per hour because you have to run across the fucking map to get the next neck reel. So that's just a warning for some of you guys. If you come here and there's already two people in this room, don't even bother attacking one and having one of these things attack you. Just log out right away. You don't have to wait 10 seconds and find a new world. Because after two people, I mean, imagine there's being three, three people here, right? So that one's gone. And then, like, I'd have to get this one. And then like, there's literally no more. This is just two of us. And there's only one extra spawn here. So it's really bad if you have three people here. I once saw four people in this room. I'm like, what the fuck? You guys, like, all have, like, one neck reel each? What, do you kill it in the way for it to spawn back or some shit? Anyways, next clip, Lego. Yeah, whip drop games. Oh, yeah. Look at that picture, guys. The first Abyssal Demon right there that I killed at you ended up getting a whip, which is all kinds of gains. I think that's my fourth whip now. I think I've gotten a total from drops from 85 to 88. And last night, guys, I also got level 92 defense and level 122 fucking combat now as well. But yeah, guys, I figure now I might as well actually just do Nightmares, though. I still have to do Chinning before I finish off uh, for God Wars Dungeon. I still gotta get, like, fucking 14 range level. It's gonna take quite a while, because I find Chinning very fucking boring on 07, so I actually might, I might not know if it, basically. Um, but hopefully I can get 99 before God Wars Dungeon is still here. Defense really should not take too long for 99. I'm not too far from 93 now, as you can see. Now, I'm not too sure if you guys already know, like, the special way of doing this. If not, I could possibly make a video on it, probably about five minutes or so. Um, this method is very fucking fast. It's probably the best music experience in the game, and it's fucking AFK, which is really nice. And you actually make money from it, which is even nicer. Only bad thing about this place is that it looks like it's given the economy a little bit of a negative influence, because PRS have crashed pretty fucking hard, um, from the price of, like, 85 to probably 90 each to about 55 each. And they're going nowhere but down, to, to be honest with you. They might even go down to like 40 each, 30 each again, because Nightmare Zone is a really fast points, and those essence, you get one S per 70 points. And as you can see, you get points very fucking quick over here. But yeah, this has been out for a while now, so I don't really know if it really needs a video. But if people don't know about it, I'm sure, you know, I can, I can probably put up a video for you guys so you guys know the full method of it. Um, XP rates per hour, probably about 100k to about 110k. Um, but you probably want to have good strength and attack to get that much. Anyways guys, I think I'm going to probably end the video here, um, I, I think in the starting of this video I might put, I, uh, I'm going to be streaming now, I'm going, I might be streaming when I'm going to upload this video today, uh, but it's right now 1.46pm, I'm going to the gym probably around 3, might be back around 5, so hopefully then I'll be able to uh, start streaming if you guys want, if not, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.